joining us this morning. Well, this is very, very exciting. I'm very pleased to to be on and to talk to you. Well, thank you. You know, you and I, uh, as I said, did talk many months back, and you were at that point just getting things set up. In fact, you were still working on your website the first time you and I talked. Lots have transpired since then, Joanna. You, well, you're exactly right. Um, you know, at what the most important thing that's transpired is I've been going door to door. I'm, I'm almost on my seventh month now, and I think that's going to be the key to this election. Is you know, when you go door to door and actually talk to people, um, you get to know what their concerns are because the goal of a representative is to represent the concerns of your community. Absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit about going door to door. You know, you, you don't necessarily have to agree with my characterization of your opponent. I'll take care of that all on my own, Joanna. But as you do knock on doors, what kind of response are you getting and what kind of issues, more importantly, Joanna, are the people in the 40, 45th House District concerned about? Oh, public education, number one, number one. Uh, my husband and I moved here 21 years ago to buy a dental practice, and we had a choice of two practices, and one, you know, this one had, we felt, stronger schools. So we invested in our community by buying a small practice and building it up. And, of course, I worked, um, you know, in the schools with PTA and, you know, supporting all the my children and other children, you know, for um all the time they were in school. So when I go door to door, that's the number one issue is people moved here for a public schools and they're proud of them and they want them financially supported. And of course, we know what Tom McMillan has done in the last four years. And when their eyes are opened and they understand what he's been doing, people aren't very happy with him. Uh, no, I can guarantee you that's true. And Recently, he was involved in a controversy where, of course, he said uh, homosexuality was a choice. Um, He's not, again, I I, I said he's really represented the most extreme right wing of the Republican Party. And, Joanne, at a time where I I think something that you understand, it's not just doing things in moderation. It's about working together. That's a skill set that you can bring to the state house that your district currently doesn't have. Tom McMillan's first priority is not to work together. It's to make sure that his extreme agenda is somehow, you know, forced upon the people. That's just not the way you do things. Oh, absolutely. You know, I've been involved with just a a whole lot of uh, nonprofit work. And, And what I tell groups when I meet with them is we in Rochester, as with other communities, you roll up your sleeves. You don't care how people vote. You care about can we raise funds for the library or can we help a fund to help women and children in need? Can we help the public schools, et cetera, et cetera? So we've got this fabulous Rochester model of, you know, you know, sitting around the table and uh, bringing different ideas and, and coming out with a product that helps people. And I think that's what government should do. And um, so, of course, that would be the um, a very big plus for me to be in Lansing is I actually want to work with people. Um, half the people here are moderate Dems or moderate Republicans. There's very few extreme people here in Rochester, really on either side, but ex- specifically with, uh, you know, extreme right. And so for Tom McMillan to be representing them, just it, it makes no sense. It absolutely at all. And I'm finally calling them out on it. And um, it's going to work. Uh, have uh, and I'm, I just I don't know the answer to the question, so I'll ask it. Have has there been any discussion, or have you been involved uh, with discussions to debate, Mr. McMillan? Oh my goodness, we had a debate last Wednesday. It was fabulous. It was the League of Women Voters. Um, Tom McMillan walked in. Um, we flipped the coin. He proceeded to sit behind the dais for 25 minutes as people entered. Didn't speak a word to anybody. He called me a liar. He called the audience rude. And he walked out, well, kind of almost ran out after the debate. And I think he had no idea that I had been doing my homework and what kind of person I am. I'm a very strong person who's standing up for our community. And when I was calling him out on all these different efforts he's done to hurt our community, well, he didn't like it. Well, the tough. I mean, sometimes, uh, you know, the truth is difficult, but... uh... Well, he uh, he forced this on himself. Let's let's there's there's an elephant in the room. Let's talk about the elephant in the room for a moment, Joanna. And that is that uh, you just can't beat somebody with Tom's money or somebody with, uh, you know, uh, Tom's friends. Um, how, how would you respond to that? 
Oh, oh, yes, we can. Oh, <laughs> Good for you. Good Are for you. you. Me? Let me tell you, um, for example, at the debate, we talked about um, donors and supporters because Tom's into pr- transparency. So I said, Tom, why don't you put your donors right on your website, right there, front page? Because in 2010, he had eight people with a Rochester, Rochester Hills, or Open Township mailing address. Eight. And he, he said, and the rest were pretty much outside interest in big corporations, for-profit charter schools, these cyber schools that want to make money off of our children. So I went there and I said, oh, by the way, I have at that time 211 local donors. Now I have other donors, of course, but with a Rochester, Rochester Hills, and Oakland Township mailing address. I have high schoolers coming and going door to door. I have 70-year-old small, successful small business owners going door to door. We're doing a grassroots movement. This isn't really a Democratic Republican thing. This is a Rochester thing. And we're calling out a man who moved to our city to invest in his political career. And I moved into our city to invest in our community and our public schools. And people are seeing that, and we're all waking up and saying, it's not just our vote, it's our feet, it's our email, it's our voice that's going to make the difference in this campaign. Well, there's no question that's true, and, and there's there's certainly a need for, for change. Uh, Tom McMillan, again, has been... Um, has not just affected uh, that community, he's affected the state with his extreme views. And, of course, he, um, you know, he has some prominence within the Republican Party because, frankly, he, mar- he walks in march step to what his corporate donors have asked him to do. And, Joanna, you're right. If you go to Joanna, and we're going to give out the website address in just a moment, but if you go to Joanna's website, you will find a link to her her finance report. You're going to find everything about Joanna that you want to and maybe don't want to know, but it's all there. It's all there. You go to Tom McMillan's website, and frankly, he's hiding in plain sight. There's no, there's no substance there, Joanna. Well, what's funny, too, is if you look at his website, it's got a picture of him and Al Brooks Patterson from, like, six years ago. And, you know, they, they're at odds with each other. So, you know, I don't play games. I'm, I am in this to represent my community. And I think when, when people understand that, that I don't have a secret agenda, like I want to be governor or senator or I want to make decisions to get me reelected, I don't need this job. I just need to do this job for my community, and that, that's all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Well, Joanna, go ahead and give out the website address now for my audience, please. Oh, certainly. It's www.joannaforrochester.com. It's J-O-A-N-N-A-F-O-R-R-O-C-H-E-S-T-E-R.com. And um, I have PayPal if people want to donate. And also, more importantly, if people want to come and give me two hours, we we are doing this door-to-door effort. We're a very user-friendly group here. My side porch is my world headquarters. We have <laughs> people coming and going and picking up signs and picking up uh, phone lists. And and we're, we're down and we're doing it. Um, is easy for people to do it. Absolutely, Joanna. Unfortunately, we're just out of time, but uh, we want to thank you. We're going to wish you the best of luck.